Hey everyone, I'm Sal Sincata, and today we're going to talk about the Tamron SP 15-30mm lens. Alright, when it comes to creating dramatic shots, for me personally, I have to have a wide-angle lens in my bag. It's a must-have, whether you're a wedding or portrait photographer. Obviously, if you're into landscape and architectures and incorporating that into your, into your shots, you, you have a wide-angle lens in your bag already. But here's the thing to consider. As you're growing, as you're expanding your arsenal, as you're expanding your bag, you've got to add a wide angle lens. And so Tamron's got this amazing lens, 15, 30 millimeter. It's 2.8, so it is a fast piece of glass. And I gotta just tell you, right in my hand, it feels well constructed. You know what I'm talking about. There's a lot of lenses out there, third party lenses. You get them, they just feel like plastic. Well, that's not gonna stand the test of time. Don't get me wrong, if you like putting your lens in your bag uh, and uh, you take nice, good, perfect care of it uh, and it's your little baby, uh, which all our lenses are, it's gonna be fine. You can have a plastic lens. What I'm looking for is something that's got more durable uh, construction to it and this has it. It feels that way, well constructed, uh, right out of the box. So, you know, score one for Tamron. Next is it's fast. So, the last thing you want is a lens Right, the cheaper lenses there, they're 4.0, 5.6. You need something that's gonna work for you in low light situations, give you that depth of field that you're looking for, right? And so you could see the size of the glass on this. This is giving that to you at 2.8. But now let's just talk real world, right? And so you can go to their side, you can read all their marketing and things like that, but let's talk real world practicality of it. For me, when I get stuff like this, I wanna put it to the test. So I had an engagement shoot yesterday. We went on that engagement shoot and I put this in my bag because if it can't stand the test uh, for me and working with my clients, it's definitely not gonna work for you. And so we had this out, we had this beautiful architecture that we were looking at and I wanna get that big dramatic signature shot for my clients. And so we pulled this out 15.30, a shot at 15 millimeters and loved it. What a solid piece uh, of glass and the price point is just ridiculous. Uh, so there's all different certain price points for, for lenses uh, from very low to very high and I think this is perfectly placed. So no matter what your budget is, I think this is gonna work for you. Uh, some other things to consider. When you're looking at a wide angle lens, you should be considering a, a few things. One is speed, it's there, right? So 2.8, that's what you're looking for. If you're gonna make the investment in glass, do not buy slow glass, 4.0, 5.6. You might not think you need that extra stop or two of light, but you absolutely need it. I need it all the time. I'm shooting weddings, I'm shooting in low light situations in churches, and that one extra stop is huge uh, for me. The next thing is the construction. You don't want this thing to fall apart. I have lenses that have been in my bag for seven plus years. Some of you maybe have them even longer. That's because I made the investment in, in that glass. And so you wanna make sure you're investing in something that's gonna, that's gonna last you and your budget. I don't wanna go buy new glass. Uh, and we all have that equipment that we've purchased and we just wish we spent a little bit more money uh, to get it. So this has definitely got uh, the economical feature uh, going for it. And then finally, something I would be concerned about is edge to edge sharpness. All too often, if you've got a wide angle lens today or you don't, uh, you'll notice that on the edge of your pictures, it starts getting super soft, right? And that's just because of the curved nature uh, of, that, of that glass. Well, they've done an amazing job of giving us edge to edge sharpness uh, so that your images are going to be sharp where they need to be sharp. So keep that in mind, definitely worth looking into, solid product, I think you'll enjoy it.